Hey, it's Patrick and I'm here today to talk to you about the Vance & Hines FP4. Now, if you don't know anything about Vance & Hines, you've probably been hiding under a rock somewhere because they've been in the motorcycle performance game for over 40 years, racing with OEMs like Suzuki, Harley, Yamaha, and even Ducati, and things like road racing, flat track, and drag racing for those 40 years. The great part about that is we get that trickle down technology to our street bikes. Uh, things like their exhaust have been so iconic over the years, their intakes, and even their tuners like the FP3 that kind of revolutionized that tuning game and made it so much easier for the garage mechanic to put tunes in their bike. Well, the FP4 is the latest iteration of that and it's gonna fit a ton of Harley models. It's gonna come in right around $460. Where it starts to differ from the FP3 is its size. It's physically smaller than the FP3, which is kind of important. It's a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner. And as the bikes these days get more electronics on them and ABS units, and they actually kind of slim those side panels down, it gets harder and harder to leave a tuner like this on your bike. Now this tuner doesn't have to be left on there, but for some of the functionality, you're probably gonna to wanna to leave it on there. So that little bit of slimming it down is gonna help you tuck it away under the side panels, under those seats, even easier. Now, once again, it's made in the USA and California, just like the FP3, but Vance and Heinz has swapped out Bluetooth technology and they're claiming this unit is faster than the FP3. So things like map download times, map upload times into the unit are gonna be faster, which is always a good thing. Now, they are saying this is a stage one tuner. If you have an intake and exhaust, this is going to be the unit for you. And that's where their map support is going to focus. So all those maps you can access when you're in the app on your phone looking for a map, those are actually physically made by Vance and Hines right there in California. They have guys on dynos with different configurations of intakes and exhaust, tuning bikes and making those maps available for you. The other great thing about Vance and Hines and the tuning ability of the FP4 is their customer service is really good. If you need a map tweaked and you have this unit, you can email them. They'll work with you to tailor your map a little bit to fit your bike more perfectly, not just the one you pull off the download uh, drop downs in the app. So that's really, really awesome. They also still have the auto-tune feature in there. You can get in there and you can actually make a few adjustments in the advanced auto-tune mode. You can uh, tweak your air fuel just a little bit, things like that but that auto-tune mode is still there. Now it is using those stock sensors, so it's going to be limited to the ability of the stock narrowband O2 sensors in your bike, but the auto-tune feature carries over from FP3 on to FP4. Now this thing is, to me, more than a tuner. It has a couple other functionalities that I really, really like. One of them is the ability to read and clear engine codes. That's huge for me. I like tinkering on my bike. And if you're messing around and you do something like you leave an O2 sensor unplugged, you get that dreaded engine light. You may not know where that light's coming from. You can get in there, you can read the code, and it does more than give you just the number of the code. It gives you a little short description. It'll say something like low voltage rear O2 sensor. So you know where, where to go look to remedy your problem. And then you can clear that terrible orange code off of your dash. Now the other really cool thing is the real-time data display. This thing has four different screens that are configurable with a bunch of different options. So you can have RPM on there along with your odometer, mile per hour, uh, voltage, engine temperature, even horsepower and torque, things like throttle position sensor, you can all have uh, on there in real time. So you don't even have to have a speedometer on your bike. You can put like a quad lock on your handlebar. You can throw this on there and you can have all the information that's in that ECM on your motorcycle fed to you right in real time on your dash through the FP4, which for a guy like me, again, I like to tinker. I like to mess with stuff. I want to know what's going on in there. This is a really great way to do that. You get all that real time data. It's right at your fingertips there. There is something that I don't like about this. And if, it, if I had to have a dislike, it is that stage one mapping. Now this is a 49 state unit, it's not quite 50 state, but it is just stage one. So if you're gonna do a cam or a big bore or any kind of motor modifications, the map support isn't gonna be available for you uh, on this unit. The great thing is those of you that are gonna use it, most of you are probably just gonna do those bolt-on modifications. And this thing is really simple to use. It's as simple as using an app on your phone that you're used to using every day. It's really intuitive. Same thing with the installation. This is really, really easy to install. For most of the Harleys out there this works on, it's gonna be underneath the left-hand side of your bike. Pop that left-hand side panel off, maybe under your seat. You'll find that data port in there. Plug it in, download the app, 
follow the instructions, and you're in business. Now, if you want more information on the FP4, go ahead and click that info tab on your desktop and mobile device. That's gonna take you to the product detail page where you're gonna see other writers' reviews and more specs on the FP4. If you're still looking for more information, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They would love to talk to you about the FP4, what works best for you, your bike, and your budget. I'm Patrick, thank you for watching. Go work on those motorcycles.